you can access the form editor in the templates area by clicking on an existing form or clicking the plus sign here to add a new blank form. Inside the form editor, there are three tabs along the side, form elements, form settings, and form styling. The elements tab is where you build your content and that's what we'll focus on first. The other two tabs will be covered in separate videos. The title of the form is located at the top of the editor. Click the pencil icon to edit the title of this form. Remember that form titles can be seen by clients, so title your forms with that in mind. On the left hand side, you'll see a menu of elements available for this form type. There are two ways to add an element to your form template. The first is to simply click on the appropriate element. The second way is to click and drag the element onto the form. Once it's been added, hover over the element to bring up the option icons for your element. You can click the pencil icon to edit the element subject matter. And don't forget to click the check mark to save your changes. The other options are to duplicate your element, delete your element, or you can add a brand new element right underneath the one you are working on by clicking the plus button. Once you have a few things on your form, you can click and drag elements to adjust where they're located. Be sure to hit the Save Form button in the upper right hand corner once you're done editing. There's a basic set of elements that you'll be able to add to any type of form, whether it's a contract, questionnaire, or lead capture form. There are also special elements that can only be added to a specific type of form, depending on the form's function. We'll cover those special elements in the lessons about those form types. Here's a quick overview of the elements that are available to add to all form types. Branding elements let you add your own text and images to your form. Add text with the text box element. Click the pencil icon to type and format your text in line, including changing the font size and styling. You can add photos to your form with the images element. Click inside to select an existing image from your image library or upload a brand new image. To adjust the size and positioning of your image, you can use the padding, percent scale, and alignment options underneath your image library. Client response elements let you gather information from your clients. A short answer field is a space for your client to type in a brief, single line response. These work great for contact information like first name, last name, or email. A free response field is a little bit longer. It lets clients type in a multi-line response such as describing their thoughts or requests about the project. You can also provide a space for your client to select a date with the date select element. You can even set this up so the date they select, like their desired start date or event date, becomes the official project date in Dubsado. You can use a drop-down element if you want to provide multiple options for your client to choose from. With a drop-down element, the client can only choose one answer from the list of available options. Similarly, you can use a multiple choice element to ask your client a yes or no question. With the multiple choice element, you can add more than just two options for the client to choose from, but the client can only choose one answer from this list, just like the drop-down element. 
If you'd like your client to make multiple selections from the options you give them, you can use a checkbox element for that. There is no limit to how many boxes the client can select. Finally, there's one element for adjusting the layout and arrangement of your form, the container element. Once you've added a container element, you can drag and drop other elements inside these columns just like a container to control the layout of your form. Click on the container header to adjust the settings for one, two, three, or four columns and to choose if you want the container title to show. With this element come some additional options for formatting the look of the container and its content. You can adjust the container width to give a full width look to your layout and you can also adjust the width of the content that's inside the container. If you would like to give your container a background color, you can add that here underneath the width settings. Additionally, if you would like to add a background image to the container instead of using a solid color, you can do that here. You can also adjust the background image's opacity setting underneath your image library. What's great about using the background color, image, and opacity is that you can use them all individually or create a cool combination of all three, like adding a black background with an image and dropping the opacity to darken the background and help bring out the content in the container. And finally, if you are wanting to adjust the padding within the container or the margins outside the container, you can adjust that at the bottom. Containers bring a fun design dimension to your forms, which will allow you to really make your content stand out. Tip number one. The title of a form isn't visible when the client views it. However, the form title will be displayed on the button when this form is sent via email. So you want to be thoughtful about your titles. Tip number two. Dubzato has mapping ability for short answer and date select elements. That means you can set a client's response on one form to be automatically stored in a different location like in their client profile or project. We'll cover how to do that in the lesson on mapping.